welcome back to my channel if you're new here you should hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of me but my name is Vian and today I'm gonna to be talking about my six month check like so if you're new to my channel I am a guest English teacher in the GOE program and the GOE program is basically where you're placed in the surrounding areas of Busan which is the Gyeongsang Nam Do uh, province and I am placed in Changwon so before I start I just wanted to say that you know although that you're watching these type of videos you're watching me uh, see my life in Korea you know just take my experience as like a grain of salt because not everyone's experience is the same so I don't know I know that and um, not everyone's experience is the same um, I, I was watching loads of YouTube videos and I was thinking oh my god like yes I'm gonna experience the same thing because we're alike you know uh, we're black or you know she's a girl things like that and it's been completely different so I just want to put that out there so let's get into it <laughs> so the reason why I wanted to make this video as well is because I was like chatting to my friend and he said like oh it's gonna be six months on Friday I was like oh my god like I did not realize like how fast living in Korea goes like I feel like uh, months turn into weeks all of us are so busy like for me I feel so busy like I'm doing something every day and then on the weekends I'm just like relaxing and then like the next day I'm like oh I've got work tomorrow oh what what thinking I've got work tomorrow so I'm like oh like it's like a rinse and repeat kind of thing so I've not had any problems so far I'm in my area um, which is a really nice area I feel like I'm kind of out of the entertainment area but like you know the transport's really good so I can just get on a bus and be in like where, where where it's all happening where it's all at you know what I mean so in my apartment like I've not had any problems so far I felt like I want to talk about that because um, I had someone ask me to do a apartment tour um, which I still am like hmm not yet but yeah I, I feel like I might do like a little tour around my area maybe like a vlog of just me like spend a day with me and um, if you're interested in that then you know hit the like button it's it's really weird like my apartment because for some reason I seem to get people's cooking smells into my apartment um, and it's just really strange for some reason I feel like it comes from the bathroom but then it doesn't I don't know where it comes from but it's like I smell really nice food or food that's not that I would eat like my kitchen's just there so cooking is okay but it's like I can't cook like a full-on fry up because it'll stink up my whole apartment my beds here the bed sheets all proper stink and it's just like hey yo. so I really want to talk about my experience so far um, around the topic of safety and to answer your question it is really safe I've not been the person to be like I'm gonna take a midnight stroll or 4 a.m. stroll like I'm not ready for that but you know I do feel like I could do that and not feel scared or anything like that I have had the odd people approach me though um, like trying to talk to me and find out who I am and what I'm doing which is nice but at the same time it's like you're in my personal space I need you to I've, I've had literally people like that uh, when I was when I was like walking to work and this man like walking with me and chatting to me and I'm like yo you, you need to leave like I'm not gonna answer any more questions I felt like a celebrity I'm like like what do you what else do you need a signature and then sometimes like on the buses as well like some people are really nice and they'll just ask me like the odd one or two questions and then they'll be like okay bye now like that's all I wanted to know I did want to mention I saw like people get asked for pictures and okay I was gonna say I didn't get asked for a picture but when me and my friend Erin we went to the Jinhae Cherry Blossom Festival we got asked for our photo taken and you know I thought it was really really funny because it's like 
a white woman, blonde hair, a black woman uh, with green eyes as well. So it's like a white woman and a black woman together, like, whoa, might as well get my picture. Like we all have to think like these Koreans, they probably never seen anyone like you before. Like when I'm, when I'm always walking in uh, my school, walking past students, like I still get the odd stares, like they've just seen me for the first time. and then they'll like carry on walking. It's really weird, honestly, it's really weird. And I'm just, you know, trying to break the ice and be like, Annyeong, Annyeong, oh, oh, hello, you know, I know you. And they're literally just still there like this. And then again, they try and speak Korean to you because once you've said that Korean sentence, they're like, okay, she knows Korean. Because I understand them, they think I can speak back to them in Korean. But I'm like speaking back to them in English. And then they're like, oh, like that Malayo. So I'm just there like, oh, hey, where's my co-teacher when I need her? Like, come on. <laughs> Good, because there are some students in the classroom that understand me and then they help each other translate what the hell I'm saying so they can understand and just get on with this 40 minute lesson. It's it's a bit of a train ride, but it's okay. It's 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 a, it's an experience to, you know, for you to have. And it's just like stories to tell as well, you know, when you when people are asking like what is it like teaching in Korea, things like that. So, yeah, keep that in your mind. So, uh I kind of just want to say um, about my um, Korean, Korean, Korean language learning and I want to say I am I'm so sorry. I, I think I like made a, I made a yes, I made a pledge of like, yes, I'm going to be learning from this book and just a lot of things have been happening. I'm just like me trying to settle in and uh, work, teaching, things like that and it's just you know, it gets, things become more of a priority, which is, you know, um, an excuse what people usually say, but I'm in a new country, I'm trying to organize myself and make sure that my well-being is all good, but I am being back on track on that, so that's really good about me, so yay, hi Ting. So the next thing I want to talk about is travel plans. Um, I think I ans I definitely answered this in my Q&A kind of thing um, but I do have plans like I really really want to go visit Taiwan like that would be so amazing um, to do um, there's like the Chuseok holiday coming up so you know there's that um, which I have no plans like I would love to visit Jeju again um, just because I felt like I didn't do enough there. Like there, we went to like the major spots, but we missed out a few because of like the ferry um, uh, got canceled because of the waves. So, you know, <laughs> but I definitely would love to go back there. But I think my main aim for this, uh, when I come back seeing my family, I really want to see different parts of Korea because I feel like, cause I'm down South, I'm just like, I'm gonna keep myself down here, but I really should just go and travel up, up north and just see what things are like because it is so easy. Like people always say like, oh, is traveling around Korea easy? And it, it really is. Like there is a lot of ways you can travel and the main major two transports that are really good is like the, the buses um slash coaches and trains and yeah they are like the the like go-to like i've not had any problems so far um like getting on a bus and uh, buying a ticket things like that okay so another thing that i really wanted to mention is just about my channel because you know if you've been following me for a really long time you'll know that i have kind of always like switched up what i wanted to do and what i've you know I don't know what I'm trying to say but basically I wanted to let you all know that I do want to start doing more like travel slash lifestyle videos so more talking sitting down like this talking to you guys 
um, and you just getting a feel of who I am and where I am as well and uh, basically take anything that you get from this but please stay tuned because there will be more vlogs um, I do want to try and I do want to try and get people on my channel as well and um, it's it's refreshing because when I started this channel it was just literally me in my bedroom and just doing makeup tutorials or getting my sister to film an outfit of the day things like that because I was really into like beauty which it, I really am I'm still it I still am but I've, I think I've kind of gone more into a more of a natural look but I don't mind if I, you know, a girl can cake her face and make her face look beat to the gods. I'm just saying. Okay, so I'm going to end it there because I'm literally running out of things to say. So, thank you for watching. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of me. Or if not, you can follow my social media links, which will be linked all in the description box down below. But until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye.